Hello, everybody. This is Vic. I'm excited to talk to you about the wonderful things that you can do with your Stream Deck and your Stream Deck Plus, along with Wavelink with the new Stream Deck software 6.0. Let's get started. All right, so we're going to jump into it. As you all saw in the preview, there is an audio mixer that you can do directly on your Stream Deck. So if I were to go to my main, and we can see the audio mixer here, and if I were to go to my Stream Deck Plus, and I was to go to my main, we would go to the stacks, and we would see the audio here. So it changes that drastically. When it comes to switching between these devices, you actually eliminate the page on your Stream Deck XL or your Stream Deck um, when you're doing the Stream Deck Plus. But we're going to actually jump into how to configure all of this to get it looking this way, because um, there's a lot of new changes in 6.0. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our demo page. So for your inputs, what I usually do is I mute my version because I always have the stream version going. So I always go to monitor mix instead of stream mix. Unless you want to control both, then you can do all and you can mute them both at the same time if you want to. Uh, personally, I just like to mute my audio because I still want you all to hear what I'm saying. So I'm actually going to select my microphone. And I have two microphones. So basically what I'm going to do is copy this and paste this and change my options. That way I don't have to go and drag and drop constantly the same thing that I'm doing. So same thing, rinse and repeat. We're going to go ahead and uh, do this with our browser. We're going to do this with our game audio. Keep selecting the wrong option. We're going to do this with our music audio. We're going to do this with our sound effects. And that's if you're running sound effects, whether you're doing it through your Discord or you're just doing it through Wavelink Stream or if you're doing separate audio brackets. I do separate audio. I like to have more control over my audio than it just being unified to one area. All right, so the last one is, let's see. That was system. Okay, and then voice chat is the last one. This is for your Discord party chat or whatever you have set up as your party chat. Now, it's actually going to be the same input action for your audio volume. And in this case, I always drop the dial down to plus one and minus one. And now you can see there's some new drop downs. So there's static, there's slider vertical, and slider horizontal. You could do slider horizontal if you wanted, or you could do vertical. Me personally, I like to choose a vertical. So this time I'm going to subtract it, and it's still going to be vertical. I'm going to actually do the exact same thing with my voice mod. Oh, it's saying select the input. <laughs> I forgot to select it. There we go. So this one is our microphone. Right now, I'm going to basically do the same thing for the top and then just cross the board, change the options. So, this one's going to be my voice mod, this one is going to be my browser. And as you can see, wherever you have it set, it's going to change. So, this one's my game, this one is going to be my music. And I have them in this order because it's easy for me to remember, but you can set the order up however you please. Okay, this is going to be sound effects. System. And then lastly, voice chat. I'm just reconfiguring what I accidentally copied. All right, so now we're going to start with the negatives. Now you can change, I want to point out here, you can change these sliders to, well, let's see, one, two, three. I mean, you can change this to however quickly you want to change these. I always have it by one. This was actually something I had been requesting, and I'm so glad they put it in here. Um, we're going to get to Stream Deck Plus in a minute, but we're just basically rinsing and repeating what we're doing for our Stream Deck XL or our Stream Deck for that matter. And with Stream Deck or Stream Deck XL, you can actually create nifty little tab between pages here. 
like these wonderful little icons. So the one thing I learned about this, if I paste this here, it loops. So let me copy this one. And it will loop between page one and page two. For those who are wondering, how do I toggle between page one and page two instead of having to go here and select them or just toggle one of the buttons, you can actually have it just like a carousel. And I love that. All right, so let's rinse and repeat because we want it to look pretty. So this one is gonna be our voice mod. This one is going to be our browser. And this is all the, the negative. So that's why they look like sliders on your stream deck, which I think is pretty awesome. It's pretty genius that they actually did that. Now, the question comes up, do you need to buy a Stream Deck Plus or are you good with what you have? You are absolutely good with what you have, but if you are one who has a preference of dials, Stream Deck Plus is definitely an option for you. Definitely. All right, so this one is going to be our music. And as you can see how fast it is to set this up, it's, it's really simple. I love it. That's our sound effects. And this is going to be our system. Oh, did I do it backwards? I sure did. Let's fix that real quick. This was supposed to be system. And then this one is our voice chat. Now, my audio, <laughs> so the reason why they look so low on my end is because I have everything at 100% on my headphones and my speakers. So I basically have it like really, really low for me. I know I probably should adjust that and put it at like 60, but eh. I, I like things the way that I like them. Everybody's particular. All righty. And then the last one is voice chat. So that is extremely easy to do. But what about monitor mix, right? Like what if you want to mute your monitor mix or you just want to lower your overall wavelength audio? Well, we can do that. We can absolutely do that. So it would be the same. It would be mute. And we would actually, so oh, wait. It is not the same. I forgot this one was a little bit different. It is output actions. And we're going to select mute. We can now mute our monitor mix. We could do the same thing for our stream, actually. So just so that way I can differentiate which one is which, here's our monitor, here's our stream. Now, if I wanted to adjust the volume between them, I'm actually going to copy this because it's the same option, except we're going to adjust. And I'm going to drop this down to negative one. And I am going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to bring this to positive one. Now, I want to be able to differentiate the sliders between these up here and these two right here, right? So what I'm going to do is actually do mine horizontal this time. And now we're able to use the fader in or out. Now, this is just controlling my monitor mix. If you want to do your stream instead of your monitor, you can actually just come down here and switch it to stream. Um, I keep mine as monitor mix because I already have my stream set up the way that I want and I adjust everything else in OBS. So that is actually handled differently and that, that's entirely a different video topic altogether. What we're focusing on right now is just controlling wavelength both your stream and your audio and this does not control the audio in OBS. This is just controlling it in Wavelink. All right, now what I wanna do is also be able to switch my headphones and my speaker, right? So again, we're gonna do output actions. Wait. All right. I totally forgot it was hardware actions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to hardware actions. We're going to drag this over here and we're going to toggle our devices. So for me, this is my headphones and then these are my speakers. So now I can toggle between them both. Now you can choose to do whatever you want to do with this extra button. But me personally, I have VSTs on. So I like to toggle the chain effect and I can select it from my Elgato Wave XLR because that is the actual microphone that's doing the effects for me. And I can toggle my VSTs on and off and you're gonna hear quite, actually you're not gonna hear the difference because it's on monitor. I meant to select it for stream. This is the one time that you can actually do this for your stream. You can toggle it on and off. So right now it's vanilla and this is with VSTs. 
So that's how you're going to set up your audio mixer in your Stream Deck XL. But what about Stream Deck Plus, right? We are going to jump to that right now. And we need to go to our demo. <laughs> Sorry, give me just a second. Here we go. So clean slate, vanilla, everything. How do you get pictures here, right? All that stuff. Well, first, let's go ahead and start with some actions. Now, there's quite a few dial stacks that you can do. You just right click on your mouse and you click on create dial stack. So right now we're only talking about audio, but we can probably do this fairly quickly for a couple of others. So here's Wavelink. Here is the input action, and it's asking us what we want to do. So what I'm going to cycle through is actually my browser because I'm not going to touch the microphone and I'm not going to touch the um, voice mod on this one because I don't need to worry about those. I, I really don't. All right, so that's the first one. We can copy this again because it's basically rinse and repeat, right? So this time we're going through the drop down. We're going to cycle through game. And then we're going to cycle through music. And then we're going to cycle through sound effects. And it's going to be a process. There's system. And then voice chat should be our last one. OK, so now if we see this, I wish I could show you my stream deck right now because you're going to be able to see the sliders change up and down as I move the dial. But we're going to look at the browser. And it'll tell you as we're turning the dial what level it's at. That way we don't have to guess which option are we on. Now, if I click the button, it cycles through that stack. And I can change the game audio to whatever level I want. Same thing with the music. Same thing with my sound effects. And then same thing with my system sounds and my voice chat. I have my voice chat low because everybody comes in loud on my headphones. But uh, that's basically replacing everything that you just did on your Stream Deck XL. However, if you don't have a Stream Deck Plus and you like what you just saw, you might want to save up for it and upgrade. Um, but if you don't have a Stream Deck uh, Plus and you only have a Stream Deck or a Stream Deck XL, then definitely use the sliders. It performs the exact same functions. And let's jump to that because I want to show you something. So if I'm holding down the button, as you can see with the browser, it's making the slider go up and down. I'm not turning the dial. I'm literally just holding the button down. Now you can tap the button like that. You can hear me tapping it. Or you can just hold the button down and it'll move that slider up and down for you, which I think is pretty awesome. And then the next thing that we're going to do is go back to Stream Deck Plus. How do we change this background? Open Background Library. Now there's a really pretty Elgato one. And we can just set it up that, like that. But uh, hopefully, hopefully you all uh, enjoyed the video and uh, this has helped you as far as making the stacks with the dials. Um, controlling Wavelink. Now, if you have other Elgato products, I can definitely talk more about Stream Deck Plus in different videos on how simple it is to set those options up as well. But we're going to cover that in another video. But uh, thank you for watching.